fall asleep fast with four hours of bedtime stories for grown-ups. In this collection of calm sleep stories, you may enjoy adventures on land and at sea with beloved animal companions before you settle into a night of deep, relaxing sleep. Feel free to listen from beginning to end or skip ahead to the stories that you enjoy most. You know what you need most as you tend to yourself in your bedtime routine. So trust yourself infinitely. It's time to dream away. I would like to welcome you to Michelle's Sanctuary. I am Michelle, and as you listen, think of my voice as that of a trusted friend. I am here to remind you that you are a magical being with an imagination that can take you to healing, dreamy places. Empower yourself to use this creative gift before sleep, to set the mood before you drift across the bridge to your sleeping and dreaming life. Feel safe. Feel cherished. Feel the weight of the world slip away as you find comfort in the sanctuary of your mind, your body, and your room. You decide where to go and how to experience each of these bedtime stories. She may drift to sleep and let go of my voice at any point if tiredness takes hold. This time is more important than any point of this day to claim just for you. Treat it like a mental vacation and your protected moment for tranquility and peace. You earned it and you deserve to savor every second. Sink into your pillows and your bed. Open your mouth and let out a sigh. On this sigh, exhale all the words that clutter your mind in unnecessary thoughts. Imagine them floating away on the stream of air so they may take flight on an infinite sky and leave you in peace. Have you ever watched an animal at peace or while sleeping? They breathe with ease. They sigh when relaxed. And they never get judged or chastised for sighing and yawning. They are able to live fully in their bodies, in tune with their needs. During this brief guided meditation, I encourage you to do the same. Yawn and sigh all you like. Empty out your lungs. And for this first breath, sip in the air through your nostrils as you visualize a baby animal fast asleep. Any animal that comes to mind and conjures feelings of softness. Fill your belly and lungs with this air until you can sip in no more. Open your mouth in a yawn and imagine this baby animal is doing the same. You sigh along together as you exhale and relax. With your next inhalation, you make room for even more oxygen to fill your abdomen and lungs. And as you inhale this time, you visualize an animal that is a parental figure nurturing its young. You inhale together at the end of a long day safe in a habitat 
beneath a starry night sky. You nurture yourself, offering yourself the protection and care that this animal offers its young. You open your mouth in a yawn and sigh. You feel secure, loved, and safe. In this last conscious breath, think of an animal that you would most like to be. The first animal that comes to mind, if there are a few. Embody the traits of this animal that you admire as you inhale deeply, sending oxygen to every cell in your body with a message that you are okay. Open your mouth into a yawn and sigh. Let go, surrender, and prepare for this night made for animal lovers. Anatole France expressed, until one has loved an animal, part of one's soul remains unawakened. Humans may seem to reign in the animal kingdom, but have you ever considered that this is an animal's world that we are just living in? There is so much to learn from our fellow friends and inhabitants on this generous planet. They can teach us to trust our instincts and connect with intuition. They do not judge or offer criticism. They live in the moment, perceptive of things we may often overlook. They take time for play, and they value rest. The diverse array of animals that share the earth have habits we may aspire to. They surrender to the natural rhythms of night and day in ways that help them thrive. They feel love, loyalty, and gratitude in ways we could learn from. For them it is instinctual and directs them as steadfastly as the moon guides the ocean tides. With a spirit of appreciation for animal life and with an open imagination, learn from these beloved beings as you listen and they reflect the hope, love, and resilience that is part of you as well. Rainy Day at the Cat Cafe The old city of Colette began as a quaint harbor town where weary seafarers arrived and sought refuge from the hard work and survival out at sea. Sea mist covers the cobblestone streets and causes them to glisten most days of the year. Colette means people of victory. And over time, the people of this fine city have learned the greatest victories offer peace and tend to the underdogs. This message was carried with you when you came up with the idea for the cat cafe. For years, stray cats were left to beg among the marinas of the city. Visitors and locals would feed the strays and take photos of the iconic wharf. Soft meows would sing out over the creeks of the docks and crashing waves against the rocks. One day, while visiting the marina, an orange tabby kitten began to follow you. She stayed close to your heels, so that when you turned around, you could not see at first that she was still behind you. She followed you to the main hub of the city on a bustling summer day. 
she walked past candy shops and souvenir stores. You made it up the hill that led to the residential part of the city. She stayed behind you until you reached the modest building where you rented an apartment. Sensing she would lose you entirely, she let out a loud meow and stepped between your legs. She was so small she could rest in your palms, and it surprised you such a sound could come out of such a tiny being. You looked into her light green eyes, and like a sudden flash of lightning, you were struck with the knowledge that you were her person, and she was meant to be yours. You named her Scarlet, and she grew up to be the kindest cat you had ever known. Her temperament was adaptable and kind. She became your inspiration to start the Cat Cafe, and with that mission your life became aligned with joy and fulfillment. Scarlet brought upgrades to your life that you did not realize you needed. She brought out the best in you. On this gloomy late afternoon in autumn, you enjoy your routine walk through the city. Young children dressed in bright yellow rain slickers may be found jumping and splashing in puddles. Fallen golden yellow and burgundy leaves float on a large puddle like lily pads on a pond. The air is cool and damp, and you are grateful for the warm knit sweater that you wear beneath a trench coat that is cinched at your waist. The raindrops patter on your bubble umbrella. You look through the clear plastic to watch the raindrops slide down the rounded edges and get a glimpse of the charcoal-lined lavender gray clouds. Puffy yet whimsical, the clouds quickly move across the sky as the rain continues to fall. A chilly breeze whips down the narrow cobblestone street where you walk. Jewel-toned leaves float on a small stream caused by the rain, like lost puzzle pieces finding their way. They remind you of sailboat races as they cascade down the hill. You come to the alley behind the cat cafe and discover a small gray kitten standing beneath the fire escape trying to stay dry. It's not the first time a kitty has appeared at your door. Stray cats seem to be intuitively led to this place of refuge that you created. You walk towards the fluffy gray kitten. His fur is damp and water drips off his thick tail. When dry, you imagine his tail is plush and bushy. But right now it weighs him down. He is skittish at first. But his aquamarine eyes are steady. They implore you to not give up. You stand still for a moment and then begin to walk towards the back door of the cafe. You enter the storage room of the cafe and it's dry and toasty inside. You remove your trench coat and hang it on a wall hook. Boxes are neatly piled on metal shelves, holding paper cups and napkins, and other supplies for the shop. Another shelf houses cat food and supplies, and you take a cotton candy pink cat bed from it, along with a can of cat food. You place the bed in the corner of the room, you hear the door squeak and see a gray paw pat at the door's edge. 
from years of experience, you know it is best to go about your business and let the cat do what he desires on his own time. A part of you deeply respects cats for being so independent, self-possessed, and willful. You take two hand-painted ceramic bowls from the sink and fill one with cold tap water. They are nautical themed with tiny cat paw prints and were designed by a local artist. You peel back the metal tab of the cat food and flip the can into the empty bowl. You hear the soft patter of the gray kitten's paws on the linoleum floor but continue to ignore him. You walk towards the corner of the storage room and set the bowls within proximity to the bed. Many of these items have been donated by animal lovers from around the world thanks to the word of mouth love for the sanctuary. You slowly slip away and walk through the swinging doors that lead into the cafe. You are now standing behind the barista station. You pause for a moment and your body is covered with goosebumps, brought on by the intuitive sense that this mission will be a success. You slowly turn around and peer through the small rectangular window of the ebony door. You see the gray kitten confidently prance towards the food and water and begin to eat quickly. You never tire of the warm feeling that fills your heart when you can help a vulnerable animal in need. Your attention now turns towards the cafe. From this vantage point, it is as if you are looking out onto an audience from side stage in a theater. The overhead lights cast the shop in a golden hue that warmly contrasts the steely gray storm clouds and silvery rain that streams down the storefront's windows. Laurel, a young college student, has been working at the cafe since she was in high school. She aspires to be a veterinarian but is also an artist when it comes to making cappuccinos and new concoctions. She draws the faces of cats into foamed milk with graceful motions and barely a thought. On Saturday nights you implore her to take time off, but she is happy as being in the cafe, tending to guests and bonding with the cats. When you began this mission, your desire went beyond creating a cat haven. You hoped to create connections and moments in people's lives that they would carry through the most challenging of times as a reminder that there is beauty in this world, that there is kindness, that there is a reason to keep hope alive. Laurel comes to you with your favorite hot drink without even asking. It's a familiar routine, and in between orders you explain to her that a new rescue is in the storage room. She offers to take the kitty to the vet in the morning, where she volunteers when not studying or working at the cafe. You smile and thank her. The cafe closes early on weeknights yet it is bustling with patrons on this cool, rainy day. You take in a deep breath and inhale the aroma of rich hot chocolate and yeasty baked goods. A black wood stove warms the cafe and the tiger orange and honey-hued flames lick the antique glass door. You stand behind the glass case towards the back of the cafe. Almond croissants and muffins and fresh baked pastries and pies are carefully arranged. On the opposite side of the counter, there is an old-fashioned cash register 
that clicks and dings whenever Laurel runs up in order. The espresso machines and coffee makers are behind her, and their stainless steel fixtures gleam and reflect the happenings in the cafe in an abstract display. You step out behind the counter, and a ragdoll cat comes over and rubs her snow-white fur against your leg. Her steady purrs and motions give you a gentle massage. You bend down and scratch beneath her chin and the top of her head. You know a beauty like her will be adopted soon. Running the cafe has taught you the grace that comes with letting go. The transient nature of life is a constant theme you are reassured that there comes a time when we all must move on towards something new and different. A tortoiseshell cat and her calico sister are curled up together in the shape of a heart on the tiled stone floor beneath the wood stove. Cat hammocks hang in the storefront windows and two cats doze in the netting. Cats remind us all how wonderful it is to sleep. And they show no shame on rainy days like today as they lazily sleep and dream away. The wood crackles and pops and the lo-fi music of singer-songwriters plays soft and low. You inhale the aroma of mocha and listen to ceramic cups land on saucers and the clinking of spoons swirling against the glass. Vibrant acrylic paintings of former cat residents in the style of Andy Warhol hang on the cafe walls. Broad lime green paint strokes around the outline of a long-haired ebony cat bring out his green eyes. Upon opening the cafe, you found ways to help local artists by showcasing their artwork and making it available to the public. The mugs and plates were designed by a local ceramics artist, and you sell them here as well. A customer asks you to take a photo of her and her partner and Delilah, a pastel Torby cat that sits curled up on her lap. You oblige and ask where they have traveled from. They have been on a road trip across the country and will return to the other coast soon. The woman introduces herself as Lilia and says this kitty reminds her of the character in a children's book she once read until the pages were dog-eared and tattered. She has spent hours in the cafe and delayed travel because of the rain and because she has not wanted to say goodbye to the sweet cat. You sense the bond that is formed between Lilia and Delilah and the unique similarities in their names. You never met a cat who enjoyed traveling in a car as much as Delilah. She loves nothing more than sunning herself on the back seat of a car which you discovered on her first trip to the vet. It seems like the perfect fit. You inform Lilia that Delilah is available to adopt if she has any interest. Her eyes begin to sparkle and her partner cuts in to emphatically exclaim how wonderful that would be. You go through the procedures of checking references with a few quick calls. But when it comes to this, you've always relied on your intuition most to guide you. This adoption simply brings you a sense of peace. You go to the back storage room to grab a gift bag of food samples and cat toys and a cardboard carrying box. You see the gray rescue kitten has made a home and sleeps soundly in the pink cat bed. Even you are amazed by the continuous flow of warm feelings on this otherwise gray and gloomy day. You bring the gift bag and box to the front of the cafe 
Other patrons take notice of the adoption taking place and they begin to smile and clap. Three black kittens ride on the excitement of the moment and scurry across the floor, running after one another. They lose their balance and tumble and roll. The older cats continue to sleep and a few peer out of one eye before returning to slumber. You inform the couple of a local pet shop down the block that is run by a dear friend. They may gather any other essentials for Delilah before they return to their adventures on the road. Lilia carefully places the sleeping cat in the carrier and carries her off to her new life. Patrick is a regular, and he finishes his daily crossword puzzle just before closing. Most days he can be found nestled by the corner window in a purple velvet armchair. Unable to have a cat of his own due to his wife's allergies, he is one of the kindest donors of goods to the cafe. He helps with fundraising when a cat is in need. Penelope, a tuxedo cat, is his favorite, and she often curls up on the armrest. Her legs and tail dangle over the edge, but she never loses her balance. When Patrick is in a trance and deeply immersed in his crossword, she will bat a paw at the newspaper until he gives her a scratch on her chin and a few pets. When you tell him it's closing time, he offers to help as he always does, but you politely send him on his way. He wishes you good night and heads out into the rain. He uses his finished newspaper as a makeshift umbrella as he darts across the wet street to his parked car. Laurel closes out the cash register and cleans down the counters. You tell her to take home the leftover baked goods and share them with her friends, knowing what it's like to be a starving college student. You tend to the cats and replenish their scattered bowls with food and fresh water. You tidy up a small secret room that houses the litter boxes. The cats are free to enter it through a cat door that leads into the cafe. It always smells of fresh pine chips and cedar find Laurel and tell her she is free to leave for the night. She insists on taking the new kitten home with her to be checked out by the vet in the morning. Every night you thank her from the deepest wells of gratitude that rise in you. You are so blessed with support on this mission and you never forget that. You have learned that each piece magically comes together. When everything is aligned, when you choose a life of service and hope. You are alone with the cats in the cafe. The sky is now marine blue and dark gray. The rain continues to fall steadily. The cats come to life and run around the cafe with late night spurts of energy before they settle into a deep sleep. You listen to the scurrying paws across the floor. Occasionally, a rambunctious cat will try to scale the brick wall and come sliding down. The youngest and most agile cats bounce like ping pong balls throughout the darkened cafe. And then, an unspoken pact is forged among them. And the kittens and cats slow down and retreat to their favorite sleeping spots. Some nights, one or two of them will follow you curiously, as if they've decided among all the cats, and you will invite them to your apartment to cuddle for the night. Tonight, a cat aptly named Cuddles follows you. You pick her up and hold her in the crook of your arm like a baby. She curls up into a ball, and you pet her silky, cream-hued fur. She rests against your chest, and your heart beats against the gentle vibration of her purring. 
You leave through a side door that leads to a stairway to your cozy apartment upstairs. You ascend the stairs one at a time, counting each one as you go until you come to the landing. There is a long, narrow hallway that leads to your apartment. Rain streams down the windows that line the hallway. The old wooden floorboards creak with a familiar melody that carries you home. You open the door into your living room. The room is decorated to your preferences, with colors and furniture pieces that make you feel calm. The ceilings are high and the room is cozy and welcoming. Scarlet slowly makes her way towards you. She's now an old cat, but still has some spunk left. You set cuddles down and the cats greet one another. Scarlet is the queen of the cafe and will venture downstairs in the early mornings, but at her old age prefers to sleep the day away in the apartment. There is a plush navy velvet chair by a wall of windows that looks out onto the street. It's Scarlet's favorite daytime dreaming spot. You give her a pet and then replenish her food. And as she eats, you retreat to the bathroom to prepare for bed. Cuddles follows and curls up on the bath mat and watches you wash your face and brush your teeth. Once finished, you feel renewed. You walk down the fuzzy rug that leads to your bedroom. It soothes your tired feet and conjures feelings of being safe at home. A colorful stained glass lamp illuminates the room in a warm glow. The antique lamp oozes charm and was left in the building by previous tenants with a note wishing you well. You walk towards a dresser and clasp the cool metal handle. Slowly pull it open to reveal your pajamas and undergarments. A lavender satchel perfumes the room in a soporific aroma. You pick up your favorite pajamas and nuzzle them against your face. They smell of fresh laundry. Washed so many times, they are baby soft against your skin. You change out of your daytime clothes and walk towards the window to crack it open slightly. The cool air smells of the sea and clean rain. A slight breeze causes the curtains to billow and air to circulate in the room. Scarlet and Cuddles run into the bedroom alongside each other and rub their velvety fur up against your bare legs. You walk towards your plush bed and peel back the heavy comforter and crisp sheets. You climb into the bed and sink your head into the pillows. The cats jump on top of the comforter and begin to knead the bedding as they prepare for sleep. They settle into the nooks and crannies of your body and begin to purr. You reach over to the nightstand and turn off the stained glass lamp. In the darkness, you are more aware of the physical sensations of comfort that you feel the safety of your bed. The warm bodies of your feline companions press against you and soothe you until your breathing slows. The cats pin down both sides of the comforter and it feels like a hug. You relish the serenity you feel right now. It is a feeling of peace that you hope every cat and every person feels inside the cafe. You let go and sigh, 
Scarlet softly sighs as well. You run your fingers through her fur and pet her head one last time. You thank her. All the beautiful moments and opportunities to come into your life happened the day the two of you met. You close your eyes and drift towards sleep drifting like all the boats that have left the harbor, traveling along with your two cat friends, carrying with you the sense of history and connection to the joy you find in your cat cafe in a seaside city. You may drift to sleep or you may journey along to the next Story Swimming with Dolphins The happiness of the bee and the dolphin is to exist. For man, it is to know that and to wonder at it. Jacques Yves Cousteau The dolphins wait for you, sometimes at sea and sometimes in your dreams but you know their jubilant energy carries through the waves and sea air like a mystical beckoning for you to come and experience the joy of being alive with them. A part of you yearns for this and grows from a small tug at your heart into a blanket of hope that you too may be as carefree and harmonious as a pod of dolphins. They help you to remember the child within, the imaginative soul that existed long before the world conditioned you into behaving in a certain way. The dolphins offer a haven, far away from the modern noise of society, far away from the expectations of others, and even yourself. They exist in a place where you long to be, a place of pure expression, where every heartbeat has meaning and every smile forms without effort. There is beauty in being, in doing as little as possible, in experiencing life when the mind is quieted and you have permission from yourself to simply be. And in the dolphin's cove, that journey begins. You walk along the shoulder of a winding road that swirls around swaying seagrass like an amber ribbon. Your bare feet connect with a sandy path, grounding you. The sun is lowering the dreamy sky is like a watercolor painting with broad strokes of magenta and orange and banana yellow. Wispy clouds weave between the brilliant colors like angel hair. You feel strong in this moment of solitude completely in tune with your surroundings. You follow the sandy road along a lush tropical forest that blankets rolling cliffs overlooking the sea. A warm breeze carries an alluring fragrance of honeysuckle and salty sea air. 
you pause when you come to a narrow hidden path that leads towards the sea. The air kisses your skin, tepid and carrying the residual warmth from a hot and humid day. Everything about this moment is delicious, luxurious, and simple. As you descend, your feet imprint on the soft earth and leave a trace that you were here. Your clothing is light and free and the gentle breeze takes hold of the sheer and silky fabric. You open your heart towards the sky and extend your arms to feel the wind like a bird in flight. The clothing billows and as each foot rises above the path, you feel as if you are floating down the cliff rather than just walking. Well, this is your first time in this landscape. Something about the experience feels so familiar and so right. With confidence, you feel that you were meant to be in this beautiful landscape all along. The crashing waves against the shoreline start out as a gentle hush that crescendos into a persistent crash of turquoise water slapping against shimmering black rocks the closer you get. You continue down and around the winding path and duck beneath the tangled vines of fuchsia bougainvillea that shower down upon the path. Lavender, periwinkle, and pearly white wildflowers add pops of color to the rich greens and earth tones that dominate the trail. You walk beneath the shadows of palm trees and emerge from the path into a stream of brilliant golden orange light from the setting sun. The late daylight cloaks your face and body in a blanket of shimmering warmth. You shield your eyes from the setting sun and make out the perimeter of a cove. Tiny seashells crunch beneath your shoes as you walk towards the silvery black rocks that line the cove. Aquamarine waves lap against their jagged edges and spill over onto the sandy plateau where you stand. The fiery orange orb of the sun slips towards the horizon, showering the sparkling waves in rays of molten lava light. You sit on the edge of a rock and dangle your bare legs above the sea. You remove your shoes and set them on the shore and then release your bare feet into the air above the sea. An incoming wave gently flows over them and the warm salt water provides a massage. You close your eyes and inhale the salty air and appreciate everything that has led to bringing you to this place and time. 
each moment was worth its contribution to this perfect moment of peace and beauty. And as the sun disappears for the day, the last rays of golden orange light wrap around you like a warm blanket. The heat stays within your muscles and skin even as twilight sets in. The sensation soothes you and offers promise and hope for the morning to come where you may once again bask in the sun's warmth. And though the air cools, it remains balmy and silky against your skin. And as if they were cued by twilight, a pod of dolphins enters the cove as the sky turns into a gradient of velvety blues and purples. The enthusiastic mammals breach the waves in flashes of shimmering silver. And the fading light of twilight reflects off their backs in a glorious display. Somehow, you intuitively know that they have come to meet you, to be your guides on an evening adventure. You connect telepathically to their energy, in a way you heard that civilizations were able to do thousands of years ago. You are awash with feelings of trust and deep peace. The dolphins approach the shore and make eye contact with you as they speak in a chorus of playful chirps. Their voices are musical and their song is inviting. You remove a few layers of clothing until you are dressed in just your swimwear and slowly climb down the rocky ledge. You stand on a narrow peninsula of ebony rocks covered in lacy white foam left from the incoming tide. Dolphins form a circle at the end of the rock formation and eagerly wait for you to join them. You raise your arms towards the sky and dive into the heart of their formation. Your body glides beneath the warm, gentle waves. Immersed in the ocean, you feel yourself coming alive with a tingling sensation that covers you from head to toe. Goosebumps form from this pleasurable moment and from the anticipation of an adventure you will experience for the first time. You swim to the surface and water flows down the crown of your head and the back of your neck as a soft breeze meets your face. You lie back and float and look up towards the sky as you acclimate yourself with the sea. The dolphins swim around you. Their song and spirits fill the cove with tender, loving energy. They playfully nuzzle your floating body 
and you run your hands over their slick, rubbery backs as you become acquainted with one another. Stars light up the blue-black sky and the bright opal light of a crescent moon shines on the water's surface. As you float in the sea, the pod of dolphins protectively surrounds you as if you are a member of their family. Your heart rises towards the moon with each deep inhalation, radiating warmth and openness. In this moment, you feel connected to the tide, to the moon, to the touch of magic that is in the air. You feel a sense of belonging that conjures memories of times in your life that you have felt this way before. They play out on the starry sky that becomes a movie screen showcasing clips of your most comforting moments that come in flashes. A warm wave of appreciation flows within you as the warm waves of the sea flow over your body and you are sandwiched delightfully between the two. Your physical, spiritual, and emotional beings are all at peace and in harmony with one another and the environment that welcomes you. Your eyes meet the kind eyes of a dolphin nearest you. You feel a spark within that opens up a childlike glee and gratitude for the bountiful beauty and kindness that is on this planet. It overwhelms any shadows or darkness. It is pure and intoxicating. And the more you focus on the good, the more you experience it. Memory capsules burst within your mind, taking you back to the first time you encountered the most miraculous wonders on this planet. Your face softens into a smile, and you taste the salt water on your lips. Instinctively, you begin to swim along with the dolphins. As you follow them further out to the deeper sapphire waves. follow and float along, delighted by this newfound agility that helps you keep up with the pod with little effort. The twinkling stars reflect on the water, and in this dreamy experience, there are moments you feel that you are alternating between swimming through the silky waters of the sea and the shades of blue in the velvety night sky. The dolphins jump out of the water in tall, perfect arcs. Against the backdrop of the celestial stars, it's quite easy to imagine them swimming through the sky as well. You feel safe with the dolphins and know that nothing can harm you in their presence. They care.
care for you as one of their own, guiding you to deeper waters far away from the demands on land. And you occasionally dip under the dark waves, following the metallic stream of the dolphins at play when one of the dolphins urges you with her snout. Together you breach the surface as she encourages you to mount her back and ride the tide. And so you do, gently hugging your arms around the sleek body Together you ride the waves as the salt water spray lands on your lips and face. You look to the stars and the dark waters ahead that meet the horizon and feel the greatness and expansiveness of this beautiful universe you inhabit. And it makes all your concerns and problems so very small as you tap into and connect with this greatness beyond the ego. You send a special hope into the night to all the other dreaming souls that have yet to witness this beauty. In this hope, you wish the world as a whole could experience peace and stillness, because beauty like this is always available when you seek it and open yourself to connecting with nature. You inhale deeply and hold your breath as the dolphin takes you deep beneath the white caps of the waves. You feel the warm waters become cooler the deeper and deeper you go. And just as you are in need of a fresh breath of air, your dolphin intuitively takes you to the surface where your lungs deeply inhale a fresh breath of the salty air. Amid the glittering water in the distance is a dark mass of land illuminated by flickering orange light. The dolphins lead you towards this mass and you realize it is a private island. As you get closer to the shore, you disembark from your dolphin guide and give her a loving hug. You look into her glittering eyes as you exchange a mutual understanding. The other dolphins playfully swim around you before breaking away in a single line. They swim back into the depths of the ocean beneath the moonlight. Their job is done for the night. They took you to an island of serenity where you deserve to be. You wade towards the sandy shore and notice a sea turtle that rests below the moonlight. The turtle is sleepy and languid and serves as a welcome to the island. You come out of the water and your toes dig into the soft and warm wet sand. You 
continued towards the marmalade flames of a roaring fire that you first noticed out at sea. Seashells and pebbles spell out your name in the powdery sand. Their coral and slate blue hues are illuminated in the amber glow of firelight. You do not question this dreamy escape, for you are simply overwhelmed with gratitude for the respite you needed. A warm plush robe is folded in a basket that also contains tropical fruit. You change into the robe and tie the belt around your waist. You then enjoy your most favorite tropical fruits and the salt on your lips is replaced by the hydrating, sweet, tangy juices that cause your mouth to water. You savor this moment in time, your mind silenced, and your body focused on all things that bring pleasure. The soft breeze, the sweet smells of coconut, pineapple, and mango that permeate the salty air, the gentle rustle of palm fronds, and the rhythmic crash of waves on the sand. Palm trees tower behind the fire, acting as poles for a hammock that blows in the gentle night breeze. You feel so tired from your swim, so content, but with an intense sleepiness that seeps into the depths of your bones. Your body is heavy, and you bring yourself to the hammock and collapse in its cocoon. The fire keeps you warm, and you feel cozy as you rock back and forth, and back and forth. Your tempo matches the rhythm of the hypnotic waves spilling over the beach before retreating back to their origins. Once again, you feel as if you are drifting through the night sky and its blanket of glittery silver stars safe and content, you close your eyes and relax deep into the hammock. And while there is a hut just beyond the beach where you could retire for the night, you prefer to stay outside. The simple bed is a pocket of peace that rocks you towards a night of healing sleep. The warm sea air conjures thoughts of the beautiful morning to come, when the dolphins will return after sunrise to guide you back home. But for now, Sleep takes hold in a simple moment, and you drift as you rock, going deeper and deeper down. You feel so very tired and at ease. 
all tension is gone and your muscles are like soft candle wax. You become aware of your lungs as they gracefully expand as you inhale and exhale. They carry the relaxed feeling that comes after a workout and after swimming at sea. And as you drift, falling to sleep, you trust that your subconscious mind is keenly aware of the healing that is taking place as you connect with the four elements of sea, air, earth, and fire. You are on track to having beautiful dreams and waking up refreshed and excited about your life and all the hope the dolphins stirred deep within you. Salty air is known for its healing powers. Do you experience this healing right now? So grateful for this magical place on your own island surrounded by tropical fauna and immersed in the stillness of the night. This is your time to go deeper and deeper to the place where the most uninhibited and open-minded version of yourself may be found. The dolphins as your spirit animals help you connect to this place within you. A place where you are able to look inside of yourself and find beauty, joy, and the whimsy of a child. You breathe gently as though you are already deeply asleep, fully relaxed and content and fulfilled. And as you float between consciousness and sleep, you can still feel the dolphin beneath you. Your arms embraced around her in a hug. The trust she inspired inside of you is the same as the trust you feel when you surrender to your dreams. And you may let go and fall asleep or you may drift along to the next story in this collection. The choice is yours to make with ease. The Northern Lights of Nova Scotia. Visualize you are sitting atop the deck of a catamaran. Your breath condenses in a silky stream of air that forms a silvery lavender cloud. The maritime air smells briny when you inhale and feel the cool damp air as it forms droplets in your nose. Beads form on your lips and taste like a cold metal spoon that delivers a salty broth to your warm mouth. You listen to the waves break against the lustrous white exterior of the boat. Dressed in a puffy parka, you feel the warmth of your cashmere scarf that is tucked within the tall collars of the coat. 
Your gloveless hands are buried in the soft, thick fur of your dog, who sits between your legs and relishes the massage you give to soothe her. Her glassy eyes look like luminous coal as they gaze curiously at the sea. You and your pup are the only passengers on this quiet ride from the coast of Maine to the Canadian town of Yarmouth. And while spring is around the corner, the bite of winter remains in the air. It feels especially brisk on this clear night. While sunlight hours are increasing each day, the sun still lowers early, and just hours before you watched it disappear beyond the navy blue horizon. Your body is acclimated to the rocking motion back and forth, and this movement has lulled your mind into a state of quietude. Movement is a solve. And for so much time you have remained stationary and longed to explore magical sights captured in photos. This is the best season to experience Aurora Borealis and the captain of the vessel had a twinkle in his eyes when he explained that the night in store for you will be beyond your wildest of expectations. You look to the indigo blue sky, freckled with silver white stars that shine brightly down on the vast darkness of the bay. The waxing gibbous moon is days shy of being full and reflects brightly on the dark waters of the Bay of Fundy. The waterway is considered one of seven natural wonders of North America and has the highest tides of anywhere on Earth. Over time, the tides have created breathtaking sea cliffs and rock formations. It is a popular summer refuge for whales, with more than 12 species that may be found swimming in the area in the peak months of tourism. You feel a similar draw to the water and it tugs on your heart. The sea and bay is so easy to romanticize. The stories about whales and seafarers. In the white noise of the surf, you hear a feminine whisper that beckons to you. Stay for a while. Conveniently, this has been your plan all along. You've needed this getaway to a quiet place with a rich history of welcoming travelers. This moment feels timeless and you suddenly see historic vessels appear on the water like holograms, guided by weary seafarers, longing for the stillness of land. They appear like a nautical mirage, and you are captivated, and so is your pup, until they evaporate into the darkness. So much of life is spent longing for something more, that you take this moment to appreciate all that you have. Because this journey began with an intention to relish and savor every moment. The wondrous night ahead, where you may do whatever your heart desires. And as your mind floats to thoughts of gratitude, the first streak of the northern lights illuminates the sky. 
Aurora Borealis is caused when electrically charged particles from the sun enter the Earth's atmosphere through holes in the magnetic fields of the North and South Poles. Riding on the solar wind, they collide with gas particles to put on a show of dancing lights. At first, you see a slowly moving streak of light green. It widens across the sky, undulating like the waves in the Bay of Fundy. The catamaran continues southerly towards the Cape. You see the silhouette of a rocky coastline in the near distance. The boat is guided by the light of the Cape Horseshoe Lighthouse. With a watchtower shaped like an apple core, the red striped white lighthouse has guided seafarers to land since 1840. Golden light brightly beams from the tower and slices through the darkness while illuminating the rugged volcanic rocks of the shoreline. The rock formations are like smaller replications of mountains with pointed peaks and sharp angled slopes. The catamaran begins to slow down, inching closer to a private dock between the historic lighthouse and the cottage you rented for your getaway. A wind comes off the bay and you relish the cool air. It causes your face and nose to tingle and brings a feeling of aliveness to your body. So often throughout your normal life, you have become numb to the physicality of being in your body. You zone out during mundane tasks and are absorbed in electronic distractions. But here, beneath the northern lights, isolated with your pup on a moving vessel, every sensation is heightened. You are conscious of every experience. Perhaps that is what brings you such contentment when you travel. This amplification of your senses etches memories in your mind as sharp and detailed as an artist's sketch of a landscape. You look to the sky, now erupting in shades of vibrant pink and purple. The colors flow like saturated watercolor paints. So fluid they move gracefully with the pulsing rhythm of a heartbeat. Captain Sam docks the boat and comes to help you grab your bag. He places the strap of your luggage in one hand while your other hand grasps the well-worn leash of your dog. The colors of the northern lights become more vibrant and spread wider across the sky. The captain's sun-weathered face erupts in a warm smile and his eyes sparkle like a child's. The beauty of Nova Scotia and the northern lights forever enchants him, since first witnessing them decades ago, when Nova Scotia felt quieter and more remote. He helps you disembark, and you find balance on a dock that creaks softly beneath your feet. Your pup is hesitant at first, and then bravely leads you towards the rocky shore. You wave goodbye to the captain 
and he wishes you and your dog well as you begin your walk towards the cottage. The landscape is rugged and you take a wet sandy path that weaves like a golden ribbon between the ebony jagged volcanic rocks that glisten in the moonlight. You walk through dunes covered in snow dusted grass that rustles in the cool breeze. You come to a quiet area surrounded by glassy tidal pools that reflect the amethyst and soft green tones of the northern lights. The same is true for the glistening rocks and shimmering sand. And you watch a rainbow of color bounce back from the night sky to the gleaming landscape of the cape. You hear the soft crash of waves against the shoreline beyond the dunes and again hear the whisper, please stay a while. Your dog's ears rise as well and her reaction is always so cute and endearing that it causes you to smile. You find a smooth rock that is the perfect size and height to sit and enjoy the mystical spectacle that unfolds around you. You place your bag to one side of your body and your pup jumps and settles against the other side. You relish her furry warmth as she leans into you and you wrap your arm around her you look to the waxing gibbous moon and think about all the souls to come before you and used the moon to guide them. You think of the lunar pull on the tides and feel the connection as it extends to you at this moment. Surrounded by the shiny tidal pools that ripple beneath the caverns and the delicate bridges formed within the black rocks. Some of the rock formations look like black candle wax that has dripped down tapered candles and hardened over time. You notice magenta and royal blue and teal hues that join the dancing array of the northern lights, flickering and gracefully moving like candle flames struck by a soft current of the night air. The air is marked by a rich fragrance of sea creatures and seaweed, distilled and intensified in the shallow water of the tidal pools. You take in a deep breath and sigh and feel your body become heavy as it sinks into the cradle of the gritty rock beneath you. And as you exhale, your pup points her nose to the moon and lets out a spontaneous howl. You have never heard her howl before but this journey together has awakened something primal within her. You imagine she is calling out to her ancestors, to the wolves that once roamed the landscape of Nova Scotia freely centuries ago. When she is done, she looks at you as if nothing unusual happened and her eyes are smiling. You bring her muzzle to your cheek and scratch her neck. She buries her cool wet nose in a gap between your neck and soft scarf and it makes you laugh. Feeling tired from the long journey by sea and now by land 
You rise and grab your bag and the leash to continue to the other side of the narrow cape. Your boots balance on the uneven terrain and you feel the soles grip the wet, coarse sand. The northern lights begin to disappear, but they are known to come and go throughout nights like this. You walk around a tall dune and make out the lightkeeper's cottage that you have rented. The land is barren surrounding it, and it reminds you of homes built by pioneers in the west. Instead of tumbleweeds, thick blue-green grasses grow tall and make shushing sounds in the breeze. You undo your dog's leash and watch her run free and unencumbered towards the cottage. Her hind legs kick up the sand in golden clouds that sparkle in the moonlight. You saunter down the winding path that leads to the historic cottage constructed in 1740. It is one of the oldest homes in Nova Scotia. The facade of the home is covered with gray shingles that have been weathered over time. The original shingles were made of cedar and dipped in buttermilk to leave a grayish tint to the home. You follow the path towards the property and walk past an evergreen tree or two that grows atop rolling hills covered in a lace-like coating of pearly white snow. You inhale the smell of spruce and salty air. Your dog arrives at the front porch of the cottage before you, and again you hear the invitation. Feel free to stay for a while. You walk up a burgundy and sapphire blue flagstone path to the porch and climb the creaky stairs. Your legs feel a soft burn and tiredness that comes from a day of activity. You greatly look forward to warming up by a fire. The dampness of the night has set into your bones and muscles, and you brace yourself in a hug as you approach the front door. You enter a key code and hear a beep as the lock disengages. You open the front door into a lofty living space. You flip a dimmer low to set the perfect lighting. Antique lamps turn on and illuminate the room in a soft incandescent glow. Many of the lamps are made of colorful stained glass in soothing blue and green tones. They have been collected over many eras, and some lamps in the collection were once lit with candles before the advent of electricity. They have been modernized for the home. You remove your boots and place them on a mat, and then take off your coat and scarf and hang them on nautically themed hooks that resemble anchors. You place down your bag and remove your pup's food from it. As always, she is your priority. And you walk to the open kitchen to find two bowls. You fill one with cold water from the sink and the other with dry kibble. The sound of the pellets falling into the dish excites your dog 
and she comes running with her tail wagging at full speed. She happily eats, and your attention turns to the living room. Large windows run from floor to ceiling on three walls, and from them you can see the lighthouse on one side and the sparkling water of the Bay of Fundy on another. You can see the starry sky and vibrant moon from the comforts of an overstuffed sofa. You walk to a fireplace that has been modernized and turns on with the flip of a switch. You rub your cold hands together before the marmalade flames that dance in the white brick fireplace. Your fingers tingle as the numbness disappears and feeling slowly returns to them. You retreat to the couch and sink into the downy cushions. There is a coffee table made of whitewashed driftwood. It is unique and memorable, and you run your fingers along the smooth grains of the piece. And as you do, you can hear and feel the waves of the ocean that weathered it down, much like you've imagined hearing the echo of the sea in the hollow space of a conch shell. Like much of this journey, it feels as if articles you encounter are sharing their personal stories and the story of the cape through impressions that go beyond the logical mind. You are granted with a knowing. There is a wicker fruit basket wrapped in iridescent cellophane and it bears a card that reads your name in calligraphy. And the message that led you so far is written as well. Please stay a while. You untie a blue satin ribbon and peel away the cellophane, listening as it crinkles. You grab a piece of your favorite fruit and savor the sensation of each bite. The juice of the fruit nourishes you and you feel the sweet liquid hydrate your throat as it trickles down into your stomach. Your dog comes to join you and you invite her to the sofa. You finish the last of the fruit and then relax with her, sinking into the pillows and soft cushions. You bring your feet onto the sofa and find a soft chenille blanket in your favorite color that is draped on the back of the furniture. You wrap it around you and your pup and watch the dancing flames of the fire. Your attention turns to the windows and outside you see the northern lights have once again come to life. Reminiscent of a grand finale of a 4th of July fireworks display. The colors are more vibrant and diverse than before. Magenta and electric blue, teal and chartreuse. The colors glow like neon lights. There are two skylight windows above the living room, and you look to them to observe the wafting lights and twinkling stars. Peering through the windows, you feel as if you are inside a rocket, ready to fly through the ribbons of colorful light. 
Your dog rests her warm chin on your legs, and her thick lashes fall upon her furry cheeks. When she closes her eyes and sighs, you pat her head and find yourself becoming quite tired. Your eyes softly focus on the lights of the sky, the lights of the antique lamps, and the light of the fire, and your imagination takes flight. You feel as if you are floating through a rainbow of colors, free to drift and wander like a vessel at sea free to surrender to the tides of time and of relaxation as you simply let go. You take in a deep breath and yawn and stretch your arms overhead before they fall back on the soft pillows. You imagine riding on the sofa through the skylights through the cool air on this magical night where anything seems possible. You visualize floating above the reflective waves of the sea that sparkle like millions of mirrors floating on a pool of indigo ink. In this dream fantasy, you float across the stars and ride across the green and purple lights of Aurora Borealis with the slick ease of a sled going down pristine, snowy hills. You follow the sensation of going with the flow and gliding across the sky, and then you feel yourself sinking into the comforts of the sofa and returning to the cozy, warm, historic lightkeeper's cottage in a place where it is safe to dream. In a place where you cuddle with your beloved companion, feeling snug and safe. Your eyelids fall heavily upon your tired eyes, and you drift towards sleep. The magic and beauty of the northern lights and the maritime landscape will enliven your dreams when you cross over into your sleeping life. You may dream of yourself at this moment observing yourself nestled by a fire in a cottage beneath the neon display of Aurora Borealis. You may drift to sleep or you may travel to another place and time in the following sleepy tale. Horses in Autumn Visualize that you are floating in the golden sky of fall, blowing your exhalation onto a landscape of rolling hills and changing leaves. Your exhale creates a wind that rustles the jewel-toned leaves that are awash in sunlight that appears like a coating of maple syrup. You feel light as you join this scene and drift on this breeze floating through the air. You see purple mountains in the distance that jut against the sky, offering protection to the valley. You feel yourself drifting down into this landscape as easily and softly on the breeze as the plum and ruby red 
and topaz yellow leaves alongside you land on the wet earth. Your feet gracefully land on a mulch path and you feel the soft decaying leaves beneath your boots. You are wearing a trench coat that billows out like an open umbrella and you inhale the most majestic perfume of fall. The air smells sweet from the breakdown of sugar in the decaying leaves and a soft mist lends a mineral fragrance. You feel the mist on your lips and it trails through the landscape like a sheer curtain wafting on the crisp air. You smell the faint yet comforting aroma of burning wood coming from one of the homes in the valley. You walk along the tree-lined path hearing a soft crunch beneath your boots as the colorful leaves continue to fall gently all around you. Rays of sunlight cut through the spaces between the leaves and trees like golden spotlights on a stage. You walk towards a white wooden fence that surrounds the horse sanctuary and hills that cascade like emerald waves. The sanctuary property spans for acres, giving free range for the horses to roam through the hills and forests to a nearby stream and an apple orchard. As soon as you approach the fence, You feel her eyes on you. She sensed your arrival before you landed and gallops towards the gate and stops before you. Your eyes meet. This is your horse. The one you have nurtured and loved. Remaining patient and kind until you earned her trust. It took so much time, but you stayed focused every day and inching close to the bond that you now have. And now you are hers. She neighs and you reach out and place your hands upon her muzzle as she moves in closer. Your foreheads come together as you stroke her neck and smile. The smile warms your face. This warmth tingling and traveling all over your body in what is the purest exchange of love and mutual respect. You have named her and her lustrous coat shines in the color that you have always imagined the horse of your dreams would have. Your eyes lock for a moment and you admire her lush black lashes around her bulging dark eyes, already suited in her bridle and saddle by a farmhand. She has been waiting for you to go for a ride. She makes a soft, content snort as you hop over the fence balancing on the grassy knoll. You put your foot in a stirrup as you pull yourself up and mount her and find balance before your other foot slips into the stirrup. Your hands clasp the thin reins and your horse takes off with your guidance down the rolling grassy hills. You cut through the soft mist and taste the droplets that form on your lips. You look to the majestic mountains 
as the orb of a metallic orange gold sun is lowering towards their purple black peaks. The surroundings are like a jewelry case as the vibrant fall colors twinkle around you in a honey glow and the silver mist floats just above the earth. And you ride between these waves of silvery fog and golden sunlight, at first slow and then at a medium pace. You trust your horse and she trusts you in an unspoken bond that could only develop over time. The consistency of your actions and showing up for her every day created this connection and you feel grateful. This moment would not exist without commitment and time and truly believing in one another. The other horses have gathered in a herd. Some are still wild in their ways, but your horse brings a placid energy that helps soothe them. As you encourage your horse to take off in a sprint, the other horses begin to take off as well, trailing behind. You feel part of a wild parade, listening as the hooves of the horses pound against the earth and create vibrations that can be felt throughout the valley. Your horse leads the way and you admire the white and chestnut and ebony horses that run just behind you. The crisp breeze sweeps your hair back as your jacket billows. Once floating on the breeze, you now feel the power of cutting through it and outpacing it. You watch the muscles of your horse flex, relishing the sensation of this powerful motion propelling forward met with a staccato of hooves on the earth. The sky is cornflower blue with shimmering lavender edged white cumulus clouds like puffs of cotton. You arrive at the woods and travel a wide path that slithers through the kaleidoscope of trees. You look up and see the gold and fiery orange clusters of bright leaves that fall around you like flurries of colorful snow. Delicate and graceful, they land on the path and you hear a babbling brook in the distance. Your horse slows down her chest still heaving, as like you she inhales the perfect fall air. You take in a deep breath, feeling a tingling in your nose from the cool drop in temperature beneath the canopy of the trees. The other horses have dispersed in the woods, some going ahead to their favorite place for a sip of water. You guide your horse to the gurgling, silvery sapphire blue stream so she may take a sip as well. The water trickles and flows gently over the glassy rocks. These rocks have been smoothed over time the rough edges worn away, like time has worn away all the mistrust 
and resistance once felt by your rescued horse. So you may now flow together through the beauty of the sanctuary. You imagine what it feels like to be smoothed over time by a gentle flow of water, by sensations of kindness, love, trust, these gentle feelings that are available for you to experience in your waking life and may allow you to surrender to the beauty of being alive. And that trust and love begins within. With a self-care that comes from expeditions like this, immersed in nature and enjoying its magnanimity. Your horse bows down to take a sip of the water and you take in a sip of the cool air. The freshness of the mist rising from the stream tastes like a cold metal spoon. The woods are becoming darker as the sun begins to set and the saturated hues of the leaves are now dark silhouettes against a pastel sky of cotton candy pink and orange sherbet streaks. The other horses have ventured throughout the woods and will seek shelter when they are ready. You guide your horse through the woods as the trees become more sparse as they open out onto the cultivated rows of an apple orchard. You see a buck in the distance, his felt-like antlers cast in a rosy pink hue from the sky. Two does take off down a wide row of the orchard before they stop and begin to feast on the fallen red apples that pepper the lush green grass. You guide your horse to the orchard before pulling her to a full stop. You dismount, feeling your boots land on the earth. You remove her bit and bridle, carefully wrapping the leather straps over your shoulder. You reach down for the perfect fallen apple, offering it to her in a flat palm. Your eyes meet before she takes the apple and happily enjoys her favorite treat. You reach down and grab the second best apple for yourself, biting into it and savoring the mouth-watering tang of the Honeycrisp varietal. The shiny apple is in shades of soft reds and gold and is like a miniature orb depicting the colors of the sky. Your mouth salivates as your teeth crunch into the apple skin and ivory flesh. You wipe the juice that drips down your chin. You look around the orchard as you enjoy each bite. The branches of the apple trees are gnarled and mystical as twilight sets in. The sky begins to darken as the silver fog slips in again, coating the land in a mystical shimmer. An owl hoots its nocturnal song from a nearby tree, and the crickets chirp all around you. The cold air of nightfall has a bite to it. You finish the apple long after your horse has finished hers, and you walk towards a stable in the near distance. 
She follows close behind in this familiar march home with the loyalty of a puppy. The other horses are given the same freedom of choice each night. To roam the woods or hills or to seek refuge in the sheds throughout the many acres of the sanctuary. Your horse has always enjoyed the stable, and so you guide her to a stall in the wooden structure that smells of sweet hay. You remove her saddle and hang it in the stable near her bridle. You offer her hay and water, feeling again the love that comes from caring for someone that matters to you. Before you say goodnight, you take her muzzle again in your loving hands and your foreheads touch. You kiss above her cheek and scratch behind her ears before you leave the stable. You step out into the night and look at the velvety black blanket of stars as the moon begins to rise. Not quite full, the moon illuminates the puffy clouds that surround it as it emerges, shining pearly light on the craggy branches of the apple trees. You follow a dirt path from the stable that leads to a multi-story red barn that has been converted into your home. Between the stable and the barn is a small pond. A dark green canoe rests on the rocky shore. The water of the pond is dark beneath the mist of the fog, appearing like shiny onyx in a silver ring. The perimeter of the pond is surrounded by maple and willow trees. Their leaves are still a rich red in the darkness of the night. The willows rustle as they sashay on the breeze. Like miniature rafts, loose maple leaves float on the ripples made on the pond by the night air. For a moment, you are entranced by their hypnotic movements. You begin to feel quite tired, your body coming down from the adventures of the day. You look ahead to see the barn. Built over a century ago, it has been restored into the perfect dwelling for relaxing, with lofty ceilings and windows that look out on the splendor that surrounds you. You walk towards the front door and open it to be instantly greeted by a cat. She is purring and rubs against your boots as you step inside and feel the warm, dry air. You stand on the welcome mat and flip a switch to turn on the golden lights that hang from exposed wooden beams nearly two stories overhead. The converted barn has retained an openness with high ceilings and triangular windows that look out on the starry night sky on one side of the home and onto trees and the pond at the other end. The wooden beams of the walls are the color of clover honey, warm and inviting. You remove your boots and hang your jacket on a hook on the wall. 
The barn smells of mulled apple cider. You walk towards the kitchen with its vintage appliances and deep farmhouse sink. There is a small crock pot that keeps the cider warm. You grab a ladle hanging from a hook behind the rustic cast iron stove and use it to pour the sweet elixir into an oversized ceramic mug. A cinnamon stick comes with a caramel brown steaming liquid and you watch it float in the mug like a raft on a lake. It is as entrancing to your sleepy eyes as the maple leaves floating on the pond that you can see through the kitchen's window. You take the mug to the living area and sit on a well-worn sofa that is covered in an afghan that was crocheted by someone who loves you dearly. You nestle into the cushions, wrapping the blanket around yourself and inhaling the aroma of the hot cider. You take a sip, once again savoring the intense bouquet of sweet and tangy apple that coats your tongue. You watch the flames lick the glass door of the wood stove as they flicker and engulf a log. You listen as the wood pops and crackles as the soft wind whips around the barn. You rest the mug on a coffee table made of reclaimed wood that sits on a hand-loomed rug. A photo of you and your horse is in an antique frame that is positioned in the middle of the coffee table. You pick it up and look at yourself, beaming with happiness. Your eyes are lit up like sparklers. Your smile is wide and one of your arms is draped around the neck of your horse in a cuddle. The candid picture captures you at your most joyous and proud. It captures your horse at her most relaxed. How lucky you both are to have found one another. You set the photo back down and sink into the couch. The cat hops on the afghan that wraps around you. He begins to knead your leg, purring contently, careful to withdraw his nails as he massages your thigh. You admire his ability to self-soothe, noting how he soothes you as well. You feel your eyes becoming tired and look to the lofts overhead. There are many sleeping nooks in the barn cut out of the unique angles and design and you have a choice of places to sleep. You decide on the loft overhead where you can hear the leaves fall on the skylights above a king-sized bed. You rise and walk towards the wooden steps that lead to the loft. You turn off the lights so the barn is illuminated by the moonbeams that shine through the numerous windows and the soft orange glow of the wood stove. You feel as if you are floating up the stairs, 
and the cat runs ahead of you, sprinting up each step. You listen to her patter. You lazily glide one step at a time, rising higher and higher. You reach the landing and walk back into the sleep nook, feeling like a bird atop the trees, ready to nest for the night. You see an antique white bed frame that has been part of this farm for as long as the barn has been here. It was made new again restored and made larger to accommodate a king-sized mattress that awaits you. You remove your clothes and take a pair of folded pajamas from an antique wooden dresser. They're stored beneath a sachet of dried lavender grown on the sanctuary's land. The sleep-inducing smell relaxes you as you change into the soft cotton pajamas. You walk to the bed and pull back the covers, climbing beneath the weight of a quilt. The sheets feel cool, but warm quickly as you tuck yourself in and the cat nestles within a crook in your legs. You appreciate his warmth and the vibrations of his soft purring as he falls asleep. Your head sinks into the pillows that form perfectly around your neck. You look up through the skylight and see the remnants of the harvest moon and stars twinkling behind a veil of wispy gray clouds. You take in a deep breath and exhale as all the sweet memories of the sanctuary come to you. You find refuge in this joyous rewind You feel grateful for this bed and for being alive. You feel thankful for the love and bond you have formed with animals that simply requires showing up and connecting. It was worth every bit of effort and every moment you invested to give you such splendor and trust. And as you are ready to float away towards the slumber that awaits you, you may allow visions of autumn's beauty and the freedom of horses running through their own sanctuary to enliven your dreams and warm your heart. Feeling the warmth in your heart now, burning as brightly and consistently as the flames of the wood stove. And you may ride the horses to your dreams and sleep that await or you may gift yourself another adventure with puppies in the following story. The Puppies of Heaven Hill Heaven Hill Farms is a pastoral retreat created centuries ago, a sanctuary that boasts a slice of heaven on earth. Even the most inept gardener would find how easily roses bloom and plants flourish in the rich soil, the tepid air, and beneath the dreamy golden sun. 
when you learned of this historic respite. The imagery and promises in the travel brochure reminded you of storybook illustrations in a beloved childhood classic tale. Perhaps it took longer than it should have for you to commit to this much needed vacation. But the timing feels perfect as you travel in the luxurious back seat of a town car. Your driver is grandfatherly and kind. And you relax deeply as you rest your head against the cool glass window. You look out on the verdant mountainside landscape cast in shimmering white gold light. Lush wildflowers in shades of ivory and pink, red and violet grow along the shoulder of the road between ribbons of tall summer grass. You lean back into the seat and the headrest cradles your neck comfortably as you let out a sigh. The vehicle gently turns on a dirt road beneath a canopy of evergreen trees. And even within the confines of a car, you feel yourself connecting with nature. A pair of bluebirds fly ahead of you on the path. These singing guides welcome you to their magical paradise. You press the window button and the glass lowers so you can feel the breeze against your face as you lean your head out the window. The summery mountain air is so fresh that each breath feels as if you are being cleansed with cool water from a spring. You feel purified and renewed. You had no idea you were holding on to tension until now, as you feel it release with each healing breath. The canopy of trees opens up to reveal rolling emerald hills of lush grass in a valley that is nestled between snow-capped mountains the mountain peaks cut against the cornflower blue skies, set aglow by the late morning sun. A trio of goats playfully skip around a herd of grazing Swiss cows in the pasture. A hand-carved wooden sign reads, Welcome to Heaven Hill Farms. It is painted white, and the paint is weathered from sun and the harsh winter weather, but it adds to the rustic charm. Your driver guides you over a small wooden bridge, crossing over a metallic blue babbling brook. You continue past a stone barn and the main farmhouse. There is a harmonious feeling to the property as all the man-made dwellings seem to fit perfectly within the natural landscape. The pure mountain air continues to soothe you as you inhale and sigh out in contentment feeling the relaxed bliss that comes with the beginning of a holiday. The driver pulls up to a small stone cottage located near the gently flowing stream. The cozy home has a white wraparound porch and a rocking chair. A pack of five puppies 
run energetically in circles and tumble on the grass lawn in front of your rented cottage. The friendly proprietor awaits your arrival and raises their hand to shield the sun from their eyes. They smile broadly. Their healthy, sun-kissed skin has deeply set lines at the creases of their mouth and corners of their eyes. This is a person who has smiled and laughed often and their face is a road map to joy. The puppies are boisterous and carefree, untethered and happy to be leashless. Their splendor stirs feelings inside of you, as though the gates of Heaven Hill Farms have opened into a land of exploration untethered to the modern world. In this place, you are free to be a happier, new version of yourself. The town car comes to a stop, and the driver exits to open your door. You grab your small carrying bag and emerge from the vehicle feeling as Dorothy must have felt when she landed in the colorful world of Oz. The owner of Heaven Hills comes to greet you and help you with the bags that the driver has removed from the trunk. The playful puppies are suddenly intrigued by your arrival. They come running and circle your feet as they sniff your shoes and softly whimper in an excited greeting. The proprietor tries to shoo them away, but you smile and insist the puppies are welcome to come close. This interaction is the very reason you chose to take a holiday at a farmstead. You bend down and encourage the puppies to lick your fingers as you pet their downy fur. You make eye contact with each one and you are warmed by the lovely greeting that you earned by merely showing up. You are enough to them as you are worthy of love, worthy of joy, worthy of puppy kisses. The driver gives a gentle wave before taking off, and the proprietor guides you up the porch steps while carrying your luggage. You feel deep appreciation for these two kind souls who have made this beautiful escape possible. They seem just as hopeful that you will enjoy yourself as the puppies are. The pups trail behind you and wait by the front door reverently. The five of them sit in an obedient line, knowing they need permission to enter. The owner opens the door to the quaint cottage and places your bag on an entryway bench. You enter the charming space to see a comfortable bed next to a stone fireplace. The bed is covered in a hand-stitched quilt that has survived generations of guests coming to visit. The windows are open, and a gentle breeze brings a fragrant aroma of fresh grass and lilacs that complement the aroma of the freshly laundered bedding. 
you are quite content with the accommodations, but feel even more welcome when the owner points to a wicker picnic basket and folded plaid blanket in the entryway. They explain that lunch has been packed for you to enjoy if you are feeling hungry and that the property is yours to explore at your leisure. You are eager to get back outside and stretch your legs. You look at the sweet puppies with their tails wagging beneath their fluffy bottoms as they tremble in excitement. They obediently look for your guidance as if you are their new pack leader. The owner explains this is the first time the puppies have bonded so quickly with a guest. You express how delightful it would be if the puppies could accompany you on your afternoon exploration. The owner smiles and notes that of course you may enjoy all that Heaven Hills has to offer. They smile and insist this is a sanctuary for anyone who comes for a visit. You take the picnic basket and blanket and exit the cottage as the owner says goodbye and reminds you to reach out if you need anything at all. The puppies softly yip while they wait for you on the porch. Their little paws shuffle back and forth and their bottoms and tails scoot across the wooden planks. They aim to please you and try to stay still as they wait for your invitation to run along. You tease them for a beat, looking into their luminous eyes as your own eyes mischievously sparkle. And after a moment that feels like forever to these devoted fluff balls, you wave your hand towards the hill and declare, let's go. You follow the bubbling stream as it guides you to the perfect picnic spot. Small minnows dart through the water in iridescent silver flashes. The puppies follow and run alongside you. One tumbles and rolls in enthusiasm before regaining his balance and catching up. You walk beneath the trees that line the stream and pause by the trunk of a sturdy oak tree to lean against as you remove your shoes and socks. You place them in a side compartment on the basket so you may feel the cool, satiny grass beneath your feet. You walk towards the sparkling stream and curiously dip your toes into the fresh water. The mountain-fed stream brings a wonderful chill that contrasts the warm midday air. It makes you feel alive and invigorated as you splash the water upon your face and taste the slight metallic drops that linger on your lips. The puppies take this as their cue to tumble into the shallow waters and play. They pounce off the smooth rocks as they splash one another. They each take a fresh drink, lapping up the water with their pink, enthusiastic tongues. A 
clumsy female pup lags behind her litter mates, trembling in fear. You admire how transparent the sweet puppies are with their emotions, and their vulnerability helps you tap into your own. You reach down to pet her, and her body becomes still. You offer her encouragement, and because of your kindness, she discovers the courage to run ahead to her litter mates. She cautiously dips into the water and then begins to play along with the other pups. This interaction reminds you of a point in your life when you needed a little encouragement to try something for the first time. You remember the feeling of love from a kind soul who helped you overcome your trepidation. And a special memory makes you feel warm inside and reminds you that in this life you have been loved. The only way you could have survived come to this moment in time is to have received enough care to still be here. This summery oasis is an empowering reminder that now you can care for yourself and be your greatest advocate. You feel vibrant and carefree as you watch the puppies explore and sniff the earth with a level of curiosity you have not experienced in some time. Every whiff of the forest floor is new to them and transmits information that your nose cannot detect. The puppies foster an awakening of wonder in you, and you pay more attention to the details of this new landscape. You walk over a carpet of moss that grows upon the smooth stones of the stream bed. The cool rocks align with acupressure points as they massage the soles of your feet as you balance. You notice how naturally you find your footing compared to the tumbling pups. It took time to develop your equilibrium as a child, yet you never questioned it. You dealt with the falls and scrapes and tried again. And much could be said that is also true about emotional balance. It is a skill that is learned with practice. It is a skill you work towards during this getaway as you prioritize your need for a mental escape to soothe your nervous system. The stream continues to flow forward and you look ahead to where it cuts into the rolling brilliant green hills and meadows that continue beyond where your eyes can see. And amid this rich greenery are hills of wild lavender that form a blanket of purple. You inhale this rich, calming fragrance that conjures thoughts of the French countryside, of 
peaceful slumber and purple summers. And as the land opens up into this splendor, your puppy friends release their boundless energy. They run ahead and roll and play as they encourage you to come along, taking this time to be your leaders. And you can learn from them. You laugh and remember what it felt like the first time you ever rolled down a hill. The grass is soft and plush beneath your feet. And you look upon the hills and lavender fields for the perfect place to set up your picnic. You follow the puppies up the next rolling hill and they find a patch of grass surrounded by lavender and daisies. The puppies settle and sit down. Some of them lie down. They have chosen this hilltop for your picnic. You unfold and extend the blanket, feeling as it gently falls to the earth, billowing in the soft summer's breeze that is redolent with lavender. You sit atop the blanket as puffy white clouds float through the cornflower blue sky. The clouds create a perfect temperature as they cover the sun whenever you feel too warm. As if set to a timer that matches your inner rhythm, they disappear when you long to bask in the sun's warm light. The synchronicity helps enhance the contentment you feel physically, spiritually, and emotionally. You open the basket to discover fresh fruit and a bottle of your favorite beverage, various snacks and a sandwich are packaged with care made specifically to your preferences. It feels quite magical that the proprietor knew what you would enjoy without asking. It's another wonder of Heaven Hill Farms. You remove the items from the picnic basket. The puppies sprawl out on the blanket and whimper for your attention. You teach them to be quiet and sit and then remove a bag of carrot sticks. You offer one to the shy girl puppy before giving other carrots to her litter mates. You notice how her confidence is increasing with your simple acts of attention and kindness. And as the puppies blissfully chew on the carrots, you enjoy your lunch and beverage and watch as the breeze blows the tall grass and rows of lavender hypnotizing you as your eyes slightly glaze. The fields appear like a watercolor painting by an impressionist artist. Your hunger is satiated and you feel pleasantly full of food 
and gratitude. The running stream behind you creates a soothing sound joined by the softly rustling grass that flows in the afternoon breeze. You put away all the remnants of your lunch and neatly repack the basket. One of the puppies brings over a smooth stick and drops it by your leg. You look into their eyes and feel encouraged to throw it. You pick up the stick and playfully wind your arm back and tease the eager puppies as they jump up and clumsily try to stand on their hind legs. You throw the stick and feel it take flight in the air. Its inertia conjures a feeling of freedom within your arm muscles. The stick lands across the hill and all five puppies chase after it. As you take this moment to appreciate how far away your worries and cares are, and how much more relaxed you feel since beginning this mental escape. For a few rounds, you throw the stick and play with the pups until you sense they are growing tired of the game. You too feel a desire to lay down beneath the summer skies and take a nap. The puppies tumble around you on the blanket and begin kissing your face and nuzzling in the crook of your neck as they tickle you and send a wave of goosebumps that rise on your skin in splendor. The sound of your laughter, pure and spontaneous, flows out of you and echoes through the rolling meadows. The jubilant sound encourages the puppies to lick and climb on you with more fervor, and you relish every second of this playful exchange in the picturesque valley. You run your fingers through the soft fur of the squirming pups that tumble over one another, competing for your affection. They expose their pink bellies so you may scratch them and they begin to slow down and settle into a sleepy state. The puppies slowly gather around you. They sigh and yawn and expose their bubblegum pink tongues and sparkling white teeth. You feel tired and primed for a nap as you yawn along with them. You lay down on your back and create a basket with your hands that you nestle behind your head. You inhale the sweet lavender fragrance of the crisp mountain air and then exhale and sink into the blanket and the earth. You feel so heavy upon the soft blanket 
and cushiony grass. Your eyelids start to close. You blink and look at the white-capped silver mountains that embrace the valley of rolling hills and lavender fields. You watch as shadows from the floating cumulus clouds appear across the vista. The slithering shadows are hypnotic and cause you to become sleepier and nestled in this safe, quiet place of solitude. You cuddle with your newly made friends and surrender to the moment. Your eyes watch the clouds move overhead and form shapes like stuffed animals. Your lids begin to fall heavily upon your eyes and they flutter a few times as you try to take in this beautiful environment one last time before you fall into a restorative nap. Each puppy has found a nook or cranny along your body to curl into a ball or sprawl out awkwardly in a comfortable sleeping pose. You feel their every sigh and relaxed breath and your own breath begins to mimic their gentle rhythm. You feel the warm sunlight on your face as you close your eyes one last time, ready to fall asleep. Everything about this moment is soft. The soft fur of the puppies against your bare skin. The softness of the blanket and the padding of summer grass. The gentle winds that dance across pastures like a loving whisper urging you to let go the softness of your muscles as they melt over your tired bones and joints. As you surrender to the serenity of heaven hills, you drift towards technicolor dreams that will enchant you and carry through this feeling of being safe and cozy and restored on the perfect holiday. As you rest on the verdant earth, you feel grounded as you inhale and exhale drifting, weaving mentally between the comfort of the plaid blanket you share with the puppies and the bridge that leads you towards the comforts of sleep. You enjoy drifting in and out in a happy in-between world that beckons you to surrender to sleep when you are ready. Going deeper and deeper and further down. Drifting. 
serene and grateful, connected to your body and to the pleasant, hopeful experience atop the welcoming meadows of Heaven Hill Farms. It's time to dream away. And you may surrender to sleep, or you may journey to the next sleepy adventure with animals. Wanderlust, the desert. Your breath is your vehicle. You are the driver and can take control at any point point that you need to feel in control. You inhale and your body expands like a birthday balloon that is broken free from a bunch and sails towards a blue sky. And when you exhale, you blow out as if blowing through a straw. Your exhalation transports you to another place in time. Decades passed when the world seemed to be a quieter place. You first notice your hands are gently clasping onto a large steering wheel so wide it fills your lap. You drive on an open gray road that gleams in the brilliant sun as you weave through the red rock formations of a desert. A tumbleweed blows along the shoulder of the road and you are inspired by how something so coarse and prickly moves with the grace and ease of a ballerina. This visual brings the perfect balance. You feel like the tumbleweed drifting through the desert without a true destination. You simply keep in motion and decide each day where you wish to go and what you wish to do. Your travels conjure memories of the freedom you once felt as a child where a day was based around your imaginative play. Before responsibilities or rules ever told you who or what you needed to be, on this journey you found, you get to be you. You drive a vehicle of your choosing Perhaps it is a Volkswagen van, or a converted school bus, or a double-decker bus, or an RV. This vessel has been completely customized to your tastes and desires. It came about as the kind of venture where money did not matter and you had as much freedom to design and decorate it as a child given a blank sheet of paper and crayons and told to draw their dream house. The driver's side window is slightly cracked and you hear the sound of the tires against asphalt and the blowing desert wind. You smell the sweet, earthy and dusty aroma of the desert. It mingles with the soothing smell of home in your traveling caravan. You feel the warm rays of sunlight through the windshield that offers a view of red cliffs that look like handmade ribbon candles. Over time, nature sculpted the beauty that surrounds you. And like many sites explored on the road, the magnitude of the beauty overwhelms you. You are the only human being for many miles, 
but you do not travel alone. You travel with two pets, and they are currently fast asleep in the back of your vehicle on a plush bed. Curled up, they bask in the warmth of the sun. You have cuddled and nestled with them all over the continent. It comforts you to know that no matter how far you travel, no matter how much the landscape changes, your home gets to come along with you. This gives you the freedom to explore in a way that is safe and comforting. You experience synchronicity through the fuzzy radio broadcast of a song that plays low. The melodic voice delivers these lyrics. You want to be found, then really get lost. The road is your answer at all costs. Being on the road reminds you of how signs are everywhere if you look. Guideposts along the way resonate with you and write you on your path. Messages come through songs and snippets of conversations overheard at gas stations and roadside diners. You find meaning in the most magical and vivid dreams conjured by nights spent in new places. Being on the road awakens your intuition and you begin to trust it once again. You feel unguarded and safe because you travel with the beloved belongings that remind you of yourself. Photo albums that remind you of who you have been and how you have grown. Blankets and framed pictures, dinner plates and coffee mugs, favorite soaps and familiar towels. These objects have a history that you wear well. They carry memories that spark joy. The custom fridge designed to your specifications is now covered in colorful magnets from states and cities and national parks and beaches to remind you of where you have been. They remind you of all the beauty that exists in the world. The beauty of travel is that it leaves these impressions and marks you may not journey without becoming changed by the people you meet. Beautiful sunrises and sunsets over lakes and mountains. The new foods that you've tried. And the experiences you could only have on the road. You carry them with you. And they color your dreams each night. Driving through the desert, you begin to envision other times on the road. As often as the case, these long, relaxing drives create layer upon layer of memory. You recall driving on the highways of Maine to Acadia National Park in spring. The first thaw opened up a bouquet of aromas of fresh pine and melting snow, of the wet tobacco earth and fresh spring flowers. You drove through the crown jewel of the Atlantic coast and then hiked along the mossy trail with your pets in tow. Throughout your nature's walk, a robin, the songstress of spring, followed you. Her proud red breast was a swatch of color across the path lined with evergreens and barren trees sprouting new buds. 
the crackling sounds of melting ice and sparse patches of snow accompanied the trek towards the coastline. Every corner of the path was renewed by the clear, gentle trickle of winter melting. You arrived at the cobblestone beach and listened to the rhythm of the stones clashing against one another in the gentle surf. Derived from ancient bedrock and transformed by glacial deposits, you took in the sunset sitting atop the main cobbles. Your two pets ran freely as the sun began to set and cast the Atlantic in orangey-pink hues. You picked up the varying stones and relished their weight and cool, smooth texture that took hundreds of years of tumbling delicately in the landscape to form. Some of the most beautiful things just take time. A couple of your favorite cobbles now rest in a cobalt blue mason jar that sits on the back of your kitchen sink. You often wash your dishes at various camps and look at them. The gentle spray of the nozzle takes you back to the peaceful crashing waves of Acadia. The more you travel, and the more beauty that you consume, the more your mind only seems to wander towards soothing imagery and joyous sounds. Your attention returns to the road that weaves like a silver herring bone chain necklace through the saturated landscape of rolling brick red rock formations that jut against the cornflower blue sky. You drive over a bump and your belly rises and feels tickled by the motion. You hear your pets collectively sigh before settling back to sleep. The road is now dusty and particles of sand and tiny stones bounce against your vehicle with soft clanks and pings. You see the first car in quite some time. A powder blue Volkswagen Beetle convertible that descends over a hilltop as if it was delivered from the sky. Sometimes when you are on the road, you imagine what it would feel like to fly a couple dressed in flowing paisley chiffon and brown suede wave eagerly to you from the convertible and honk. You honk in return, towering over them in your moving home. The three of you smile as you pass, like old friends linked by the camaraderie found often on the road. At times in your life, there may have been a sense of restlessness and longing for more. You didn't know what it was, but you felt a yearning. You felt a need for connection. And sometimes you would feel it when your face was awash in the morning sun, when you saw the enormity of the ocean that spanned beyond your vision until it kissed the horizon. You felt it when watching a wild animal sprint across a field with muscles flexed in a demonstration of speed and agility that left you curious and inspired. And this has led you to travel, to live a life where you can pull over when you wish to take a nap. You can drive to the coast when you miss the salty mist on your face. 
you escape to warmer climates when the grip of winter seizes the continent. You eat when you desire and savor each sunrise or sunset with deep gratitude for yet another day. The sun lowers and golden hour casts the red rocks and soil in liquid gold. It's warm, soothing, and inviting. You have sunken deeply into the wide plush cushion of the driver's seat and your body feels completely relaxed. Your caravan and your body move with fluidity through the landscape, speeding down the highway, creating a memory so brief, it is almost as if you were never there. Your thoughts drift to the travels across America. From the northeastern states, you drove through the blossoms of spring, The night still brisk, you slept with open windows beneath a full moon that illuminated fields of wildflowers in a silver glow. Come summer, you arrived at the rocky west coast and spent the morning awakening in the lavender gray marine mist that hovered over the floor of a sequoia forest. Salty air met the minty spruce aroma of the evergreens and the sweet brown butter smells of the damp earth covered in morning dew. Mornings were met with joyous birds singing out in splendor and your two pets circling the vehicle in an energetic frenzy. At times you visited camps and enjoyed the clanking of metal pans and spoons and smells of pancakes and eggs and coffee made fresh over a campfire. Your journey on the road makes you relish each unplanned day as morning flows into the afternoon and then into the night like the melodic soundtrack of a film score led by string instruments. The desert is now dripping in fiery orange and magenta and you drive down into the valley. Your foot comes off the gas pedal and you glide down a hill, the speed picking up as you navigate the vehicle to a perfect place to set up camp. You follow a sand road that leads off the highway towards a flowing stream. You park along the stream just as the sun dips towards the horizon nearing its time to disappear for the night. Cacti rise out of the earth, thick and verdant. They are the only green to be seen in the otherwise golden and orange-red landscape. Like three-pronged forks, they rise towards the sky and manage to thrive. You turn off the ignition and remove the large silver key from it and put on the emergency brake. The engine pings and tinks as it begins to cool and settle for the night. Your pets awaken and come to life with their ears perked and heads tilted in excitement for a new camp. You open the door and lower yourself out of the driver's seat and they scamper behind you. You watch them leap and as if in slow motion, 
they gracefully soar out of the vehicle to land on the dusty red earth. You stretch your hands and arms overhead and yawn in contentment. Your body feels tired from a day of driving, but satisfied at the same time. You stretch your legs and arms and feel them lengthen like saltwater taffy, being slowly pulled in a seaside candy shop. You take in a deep breath and the air begins to change as the coolness and humidity of night moves into the valley. You walk towards the gurgling stream with your animals soothed by its melodic sounds. You bend down and touch the clear water that is tinted by a magical silvery blue hue. The water is brisk and fed by a nearby cold spring and you splash your face with the fresh water. You taste the clean droplets on your lips and feel the water begin to quickly evaporate from your face. Your pets run along the smooth rocks of the stream's edge and splash around with one another. While these journeys awaken your innate wildness and connect you with nature, Seeing your animals connect with their innate wildness warms your heart and fills you with pride that you are able to give them the life they deserve and desire. You follow your pets along the stream and find the perfect rock to sit on and watch the sunset. They come over and nestle their furry bodies against your bare legs and you scratch their ears and backs. Your fingers are buried into their soft fur and you move them in a familiar motion that calms them and in turn calms you. The sky is now a vibrant array of streaks in deep purples and lava-like oranges and reds. The wide orange orb of the sun disappears behind the rock formations. And out of habit, you quietly whisper, thank you. You rise and walk back towards your traveling home and before you enter it, you find the perfect place to assemble stones to create an outdoor fire later. The large red and gray stones that you collect look like an oversized mosaic ring when you are done assembling them. You walk to your motor home with your pets in tow. They are so happy they alternate between prancing and hopping. You open the door that leads into it. You remove a doormat that says welcome home and place it on the desert's floor. This mat has graced sandy beaches and mossy forest floors. It has been placed on grassy prairies and mountain summits. And through these journeys, you have learned that home is wherever you roam and where you decided to be. You feel the gentle bounce of your motor home as you walk up the stairs, followed by the scampering of your pets. You pass the sitting area the sofa is accented with plush pillows and throw blankets collected on your journeys 
from artisan markets. Each article conjures a memory of an interaction with a creative, nurturing soul. You walk to the kitchen, which is perfectly designed in your favorite colors. The wide sink window overlooks the saturated colors of high red cliffs and cactus that are now dipped in a copper glaze from the sky. How could anyone possibly feel stuck in an ever-changing world? In every landscape, the hues and light change so many times throughout the day that it's hard to imagine what staying the same would look like. Just the same, you have been changing, minute by minute, becoming more aware and alive, more awakened to the beautiful experience of being life. You remove a cast iron frying pan that hangs on the tiled kitchen wall. It has served you well and is often used for three meals a day. Your frequent use has conditioned the pan in a shimmering ebony gloss. The cool night air contrasts the heat of the gas range as you prepare an easy yet beloved meal. The smells of cooking food fill the kitchen and your pets sit loyally at your feet and beg. You remove ceramic pet bowls from the cupboard that are hand painted in calligraphy with your animal's names. You fill them and place them on a pet mat next to their water fountain that flows and makes a soothing trickling sound. Your attention returns to your food, which is now done. You place it on a plate that conjures happy memories of meals with loved ones whenever you see it. At times on the road, you are happy to gather with those who love you most and share your adventures. You pour a glass of homemade tea and then carry your dishes to the dining nook that may be turned into an extra bed when you welcome guests. You savor the meal and feel the night air blow on a breeze through the open door you hear the night sounds of the desert warming up with chirps and howls, the nocturnal animals that now come to life. You finish your meal and wash your dishes quickly, then place them on a drying rack. You feel full, satiated, and content. You grab a lighter, fire starter cubes, and a handful of chopped wood, and then exit the home. You walk to the fire pit you made and start a fire. It catches quickly in the night air, and wide marmalade flames begin to rise and warm you. Golden sparks take off towards the indigo ink sky that is now freckled with so many silver stars. It would take an entire night to count them all. You take a seat on a large rock that still carries the warmth of a day spent baking in the sun. Your furry companions join you around the fire. Do you find yourself spontaneously smiling 
in the warm light. This moment, like so many on the road, he wished to encapsulate in a vial and open and unleash this memory whenever life feels burdensome. This is the secret elixir that stirs joy and gratitude. Feelings like this are why you came to this planet and life to begin with. Feeling so small on the always expanding canvas of the universe causes your problems and challenges to become like specks of dust that lose their meaning when your purpose is revealed and you see how small they are in comparison and that purpose is to enjoy the gifts that surround you you lose track of time as the dancing translucent flames die down into pearly orange pink embers. The coolness of the night sets into your bones and at times you feel your muscles are still being massaged by the constant motion on the road. You rise and grab a bucket from your vehicle that you then fill with stream water and put out the embers. Steam rises in a loud hiss when the last of the glowing cinder goes dark. You return to your vehicle and your pets follow and race off to the bed. You go to your cozy bathroom and the light of the moon shines through stained glass jewel-toned windows, the sapphire and ruby and emerald and amethyst glass pattern is forever hypnotic when you run your hands across the texture. You turn on the shower and press the button that causes an overhead window to open so you may shower beneath the Milky Way. You remove your clothes and step into the shower. Steam fills the small space and floats away into the cool night, heated by solar panels. The water is always hot and it feels good as it massages your muscles cascading out of the rain shower head. You wash your hair with homemade soaps picked up along your travels and they smell of your favorite ripe fruits. You wash away the dust of the desert and feel squeaky clean from head to toe. You look up to the stars and the rising moon and once again feel so lucky for this moment in time. You turn off the shower and then towel yourself dry to change into soft terry cloth pajamas. You massage lotion into your skin which now feels renewed and silky. You brush your teeth and enjoy the sensation of peppermint oil tingling on your gums and lips. This nightly routine grounds you and prepares you for deep, healing sleep. You walk to the back of the vehicle where your plush queen-sized bed awaits. You peel back the heavy duvet and crisp cotton sheets and sink into the comfortable bed. Your pets pin you beneath the covers, each one nestling on a side of your body. They tuck you in, a 
applying pressure to the duvet so you feel like you are beneath a weighted blanket. There is an open skylight window above the bed as you feel the cool desert air on your face. You enjoy the perfect contrast of breathing in the cool night while being warm all over in the comforts of your bed. As soft as a cloud, you look to the stars one last time before your eyelids fall heavily upon your tired eyes. The backs of your eyelids are movie screens that play out a seemingly endless gray highway seen through the windshield of your caravan in motion. You let yourself drift on this road journeying towards sleep. You find yourself approaching the darkness of the night and surrender to the floating sensation. You may drift to sleep or you may travel to another place and time in the following sleepy tale. Cottage on Snowy Island Placid Island is a tiny island nestled among a string of islands in the Long Island Sound. From the long wooden deck that leads to a storybook cottage on this island, one may make out the mainland of New England. It is the only cottage on the island, and the only island with a cottage. The home exists today because of an artist's dream. Whenever anyone steps onto the island, it's as though all other places fade away. The neighboring islands are used in summer as beaches for sunbathing, swimming, and fishing, and found by revelers who use their speedboats, paddle boards, and sailboats to explore. But come wintertime, the beaches are bare, and wavy strips of white snow cover the tawny, frozen sand. The keepers of Placid Island try to keep the cottage open year-round, which is quite uncommon during winter months. Built over a century ago, the cottage was designed by an artist and writer who would travel to the island as a young teen to draw and paint and daydream. The teen declared that one day the island would become home. And when success followed many years later, they came back to design a cottage. In the beginning, the plans were met with doubt and derision. But an artist is no stranger to being teased or questioned. And so construction began with hope. And those who laughed later longed for an invitation and a glimpse into the curated architectural beauty that existed harmoniously with nature. For many decades, the artist would host festivals and mentor young creative types and dreamers, believing that beauty and success were meant to be shared. When old age slowly took hold, the last chapter arrived and change for the artist was inevitable. So to preserve the cottage, a trust was founded with the same generosity of spirit, inviting those in need of respite to submit a letter with their story. For decades, the cottage became a fun sanctuary for families in the summer and a retreat for artists and writers in the winter it felt like divine timing when your letter was received and the invite was extended. 
and it is with deep gratitude on this wintry day that your request for tranquility and cozy days by the fire is soon to be answered. You travel by a borrowed motorboat to Placid Island as the first flurries begin to fall. It is the day of the winter solstice when you journey to this snowy island. And it is early in the winter season, so the Long Island Sound is free of ice and the waters are calm before the snowstorm. Your voyage is deserved and timely as the bustle of the holiday season has been quite enervating. You know that this weekend's respite is deserved. It is never selfish or wrong to take these getaways for yourself. Self-love and self-care are not selfish, they are necessary. You deserve to unplug and unwind. The water is a milky blue-green shade beneath the elephant gray skies of early afternoon. You arrive on the shortest day of the year and long to explore the small island with your pup who travels with you before darkness sets in. Your furry companion is wrapped in a blanket and they rest comfortably on the small boat as though this is a journey they have taken many times. They tilt their coal black nose towards the sky when the briny smell on the mist arouses their curiosity. You guide the boat towards a long and narrow dock. The wooden boards creak as it moves with the tide. You carefully align the boat and bring it to a stop so you may secure it to the dock. A water-resistant parka keeps you comfortable and warm and the hood juts out past your forehead like a small visor. You travel light with a duffel bag as your hosts have ensured that the cottage is completely stocked with all that you will need. Your coat and fuzzy soft scarf are in your favorite colors. The vibrant colors come to life against the hues of white and gray that dominate the island and sound. Your pup cannot wait to break free from the tented blanket and run across the snow-dusted dock. Their paw prints lead you towards the cottage, and you enter it to leave your bags so you may explore the island. You walk up the creaking steps and open the front door of the cottage, which has now existed for well over a century. Warm, dry air pours out onto the porch and smells of sweet old books, cottage dust, and summer memories. You place the bags in the foyer the walls are lined with black and white photos that span decades. Pictures of happy dogs and children jumping off the dock into the sound and frolicking on the beach give insight into the magical historical beauty of the island. It feels like an island that is meant for everyone. This is an island where people go to return to themselves. In the quietude of this island for one cottage, you return home to yourself. All the cozy vibes on snowy days reside within you and you feel them welling up. You look out a picture window to see your pup gleefully slide across the front yard. They use their nose to bulldoze the powdery white snow into a small bank. They then jump in the air and spin before running across the snow, fully immersed in the present moment. 
They then race around the wintry landscape as if being chased by an imaginary friend. Witnessing the splendor awakens joy within you. You return outside and feel snowflakes melt on your cheeks. You call to your dog and they eagerly follow behind as you take a walk around the island before the sun sets. You inhale the aroma of clean snow and salty air. You walk towards a rocky beach dusted in snow and pause to watch the waves crash against the shore. Your pup hurries ahead and then pauses. Your feet crunch on the snow, adding a percussive sound to the persistent hush of the incoming tide. Your pup pauses and pushes around the snow with their nose. You look down to see an array of jewel-toned stones that are smooth and covered in a thin, glassy layer of ice. As you investigate further, you discover a piece of turquoise sea glass that is shaped like a heart. You grab it with your gloved hand and hold it against the white and gray backdrop of snow and clouds. The pop of color is soothing and reminiscent of tropical seas. It offers a piece of hope for warmer and longer days and serves as a reminder that winter is not here to stay. You place it in your coat pocket as a keepsake. And the temporary nature of this cold and stormy day gives you permission to enjoy what will not last. The secret to contentment is recognizing that joy and fulfillment may be gleaned from days that aren't the most comfortable are exactly how you would like. The frosty air causes your nose to tingle and your fingers to prickle. When you go deeper into the sensations of this experience, you are more deeply connected to the aliveness of everything around you and inside you in the moment. It causes you to smile and even laugh. It's as though a curtain has been drawn up at this moment to reveal a stage where a show is being performed before you in real time. The thoughts of yesterday and worries for the future evaporate as quickly as snowflakes falling on an open fire. This is your moment, and it will not come again. You continue down the beach to see the lighthouse in the sound, with wide black and white stripes, it is still visible through the mist and snow. While no longer in use, you imagine the days it was, showering the sound in hopeful light. This thought warms you as if you are basked in the golden glow of the lighthouse's beams. You connect with the light within you that beams brightly on the coldest of days. Your heart continues to beat and beneath the comforts of your parka, it radiates heat by the fuel of your life force. Snowflakes fall like tender kisses when you stand still, you can hear each one land on your coat. The sound becomes a chorus with those flakes falling on the ground around you and creates a hypnotic song that soothes you deeply. 
the bigger snowflakes capture your attention. And you look at the intricate designs, like celestial stars that reflect iridescent white light. The sun may not shine on the earth as long, but the snow comes along to brighten the darkness of the season. A wooded area neighbors the beach, and you and your pup walk beneath the evergreen canopy. Snow covers the branches in tufts as thick as cream cheese icing atop a cupcake. You inhale the sweet, piney aroma and listen to the soft rustle of the wind through the pine needles. Fallen pine cones are artistically coated with snow and conjure thoughts of gingerbread houses dripping in icing. There is a richness to the woodlands that carries on the air. The earth not yet frozen, emits a saccharine smell of decaying leaves and wood that complements the minty fragrance of evergreens. And unlike days in summer, when the crickets and cicadas sing out and the air is thick and humid, the forest is now strikingly quiet and calm. The birds have flown to warmer destinations along with the monarch butterflies. You walk through the small forest and see a red fox that poses near a tree. Your dog does not notice this animal and you wonder how they came to this small island. You look at the animal reverently before it disappears in the hollow of a fallen tree, tucked safely and warmly for the night. You exit the woods and your dog comes to your side. With a gloved hand, you brush off the snow that has gathered on their coat and feel it is time to return to the cottage. Darkness is beginning to set in, and you long to spend the night by the fire, reading books and enjoying cold weather treats. You walk through a field of barren trees. Their exposed twigs reveal the bone structure of the landscape. The island was a muse for the artist who owned it and each new turn reveals new beauty. Winter brings everything down to its very roots and you welcome the simplicity. Too many things have become complicated over time and you deserve to relish the simplicity that your ancestors and all those who came before you are able to enjoy. Free of all modern demands, you ride the wave of quietude in total surrender. It takes less time than you would have thought to experience the decrease in your heart rate, the unraveling of tension in your chest and a sensation of lightness that comes from a day of playing as a child. Your attention turns to every sensation in your body, and you are so in tune. The world has quieted to the point that you can hear yourself, and you feel the message coming up welling inside of you. It is one of deep gratitude. This is exactly what you needed. Your pup races you to the cottage. The wind picks up off the sound and the freshest layer of snow begins to drift. 
You inhale the cold rush of air through your nose and feel how it warms before reaching your throat and lungs. The chilly air is welcome as a contrast that heightens your appreciation for a warm, cozy night in. You climb the stairs of the back deck the railings are built from gnarly trees and driftwood, functional and creative in a way you have never seen. The artist believed in using raw materials from the island that had served their purpose, allowing nothing to go wasted. Your pup follows you to the stained glass back door that captures a sparkling summer day on the sound in the mid-20th century. You wipe away a dusting of snow to admire the sapphire, emerald, teal, and gold glass tiles. The door creaks open into a dining nook and open kitchen. Exposed rustic wooden beams are overhead and decorated for the winter with boughs of pine and a holiday wreath. You remove your boots and coat and your pup shakes off the cold. On the table, a hand-blown glass vase full of fallen autumn leaves preserved in wax is layered with cinnamon sticks and aglow with fairy lights. You turn on the lights and the mahogany, burgundy, citrine, and golden leaves are cast in a dreamy golden glow. The room smells of baking spices and home. There is a framed handwritten letter on the wall next to a hand-carved hutch made of local timber written by the artist with a fountain pen in elegant calligraphy. The letter reads, My dearest guest, this home was built to celebrate the joy and beauty that can be found in this oft-challenging plight of human existence. In an imperfect world, this table has hosted the most perfect gatherings filled with laughter and hope. My wish is that the spirit of love and imagination that inspired me to create this sanctuary will wrap around you in a comforting hug and grant you the knowing that you are home. You feel the muscles in your face relax as if you are unaware that you had even been holding them tight. Your lips form a smile for the second time on this journey and a wave of warmth washes over you. You do feel home. You walk towards the kitchen and it's designed like a storybook cottage from medieval times. There is beauty in every corner and nook and set out in an old basket once used for picnics hosted by the artist is a collection of your favorite winter snacks and foods and a mug with your name on it containing a packet of gourmet cocoa. Next to the basket are treats and food for your dog Two scarlet dog bowls are on the floor and hand-painted with your pup's name. Your pup eagerly sits at your feet. You give your furry friend a treat and then fill a scarlet ceramic dog bowl on the floor with food. The artist left specific instructions in a trust that every guest should be treated with custom care. And though you came prepared for anything, it delights you so much to know your needs are taken care of. 
when the trust requested your preferences for things. You had no idea it would amount to this. You cannot recall the last time that every one of your whims and fancies was honored in such a way. You walk to the cast iron gas range and remove a hand-painted kettle that boasts a bohemian design with pops of teal, marigold, purple, and fuchsia. You fill it with water from a cast iron spigot and return it to the stove to boil. The tiles of the kitchen are hand-painted in cerulean shades depicting nautical designs that conjure a feeling of longing. The glass knobs on the cupboards are all different, made of colorful pieces of sea glass. You run your fingers across the beautiful carvings in the wood and the smooth, cool knobs. Every detail in this cottage is dedicated to honoring the island and celebrating its charm. The kettle comes to a boil and you prepare the cocoa. The steam rises to your nose with a rich and decadent aroma. There are toppings and fresh whipped cream in the fridge and you make the drink to your liking. You take some of the snacks from the basket and walk towards the main living area. The wind whips around the cottage and you are so grateful to be inside. You place your wintry treats on a side table. There is a fireplace in the center of the room already prepared so you need only to strike a match against the hearth and light the crumpled newspaper beneath the kindling and perfectly stacked logs. The flames erupt quickly, eating away at the coarse, dry wood. Your pup is settled on a plush sofa and you join them. You wrap yourself in a velvety throw blanket in a soothing color that drapes over the back of the couch. Your pup wastes no time in snuggling next to you. They sigh and rest their head on your leg, dreamily looking at the amber and honey flames. You sip your cocoa and fill yourself with a plentiful array of food. The outside world becomes dark and you relish the warm glow of the fire. In a dreamy state yourself, you stare at the falling snow outside the square panes of the window. Your eyes shift and soft focus back and forth between the glossy flames and glittering snow. Your body sinks into the couch and your attention turns to a book of poems resting on the side table. You pick it up and follow a gold satin ribbon that bookmarks a page. It features the poem Snowflakes by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. Your pup begins to snore against you as you read the words aloud. Out of the bosom of the air, out of the cloud folds of her garments shaken, over the woodlands brown and bare, over the harvest fields forsaken, silent and soft and slow descends the snow. 
even as our cloudy fancies take, suddenly shape in some divine expression. Even as the troubled heart doth make in the white countenance confession, the troubled sky reveals the grief it feels. This is the poem of the air, slowly in silent syllables recorded. This is the secret of despair, long in its cloudy bosom hoarded, now whispered and revealed to wood and field. You close your eyes and rest your head on the curved back of the sofa. Winter is a season for release. Winter snow from the clouds is a release. You gift yourself the same permission to release your own feelings. You release the pressure to always be just right or happy or okay. For if anything the artist has taught you, being authentic to yourself is far more valuable and important than pretending to be something you are not. And that authenticity led to this beautiful place and time people may still enjoy. The fire burns down into glowing embers and the room is now dim. As the snow continues to pile up outside against the cottage, you feel safe and content. You take to heart what the artist experienced and understood. It is okay to be your own island at times. In the solitude, you rediscover yourself. And when it feels right, and when it feels good, you may share your precious island with whomever you desire. You rise from the sofa and your pup stirs and awakens. You go to the foyer to retrieve your bag and then walk towards the master suite. Your pet's nails click on the creaking wooden floors and you smile at the sound. It is a familiar reminder over the years that your companion is always nearby. You enter the magical bedroom to discover a four-poster bed beneath a skylight. The wintry wind blows the soft snow across the glass and shifts it around like sand within an hourglass. The wall across from the bed has a mural depicting a starry summer night on the island. That reminds you of Van Gogh's dreamy masterpiece. You remove your clothes and change into your pajamas. The steam heater begins to clank and hisses as it turns on and warms the room. Dried lavender from summer is in a teal glass vase on a bed table and perfumes the room with a soporific aroma. Once changed into your winter sleepwear, you pull back the heavy velvet comforter to discover silk sheets. Your pup nestles atop the comforter at the end of the bed, where they will warm your feet throughout the night. You climb up into the tall bed and immediately sink into the comforting bedding. 
with your head positioned on the plush pillows. You feel them form around your neck with gentle support. Every part of this moment is homey, intimate, and lovely. The wind whistles ever so softly. And on it, you are sure you hear the poems and words of those who always found the magic in the mundane. These whispers encourage you to seek the sublime as you cross over into your sleeping life. Winter is the season for deep slumber and restoration and you find yourself appreciative for this gift and respite. And I am going to count you down to a night of deeply restorative, imaginative, healing, sleep. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Finding peace, finding love, finding solace. Finding sleep. It's time to dream away. Good night.